गुरगांव गुरुग्राम दिस इज अ नो यू कैन से इट्स अ टाउन विच इज कम अपिंग लाइक लास्ट टू द केज अ शो एंड यू फाइंड दैट गुरगांव सिटी इज नो एक्सपेंडिंग into the surrounding areas and lots of uh, agricultural lands have been developed you can say so called development but i don't think building concrete structures is a development the development of mother earth means that it should be covered with trees rivers canals jungles birds forests sanctuaries Now the development means is the uh, elevation of human settlement, where he spends a fast life, a decent life, a better life, and probably more not a very peaceful life, despite having everything. It is investment of money, and the money comes from the banks, and the money which requires building and reconstruction, multi-story buildings. not a small fry can do it it has to have political spot the blessings of the uh, <laughs> banks at various levels of governance from top to bottom and uh, of course the source of money in our country unfortunately is the money which is called uh, black money hawala money and the hawala money can only come from the middle east nowhere else or the underworld so the for what i mean to say is and want to tell you that whatever money goes to the banks it is comes from the earnings of the farmer peasant workers industries businessmen and the workforce the employees and these savings in the banks get lost to capitalists to siphon it off and the entire country market of the people left high and dry they have no money in their pockets trust me despite their working for 10 hours a day or 12 hours a day They don't have money in their pocket. You ask me, a tell me a farmer who could produce ten thousand rupees even he cannot. He's living in huts, shabby huts, but he has to work, and the price of his produce is negligible as compared to the amount of efforts and inputs he has uh, invested in this. So it is a story of you can't live, you can't die, and whatever it is. But on the contrary, on the other side. the there is a reconstruction development there is a boom there are the hotels which are coming up there are flats which are coming up a good thing and you know there are so many multiple offices which are coming up and with this comes up for the money gravitates to these people and with it you know person do uh, invest a lot of money and with it come other uh, luxuries of life you can have clubs you can have shops and you can have you know decent swing pool for all kind of people and uh, multi story buildings they are definitely a person who's constructing large buildings tall buildings big buildings um, that does make a difference no doubt about it but the money should come not from the pockets of the peasants and workers and employees who deposit their savings into the banks and they go somewhere else it creates it's not a positive investment in the positive index of development of any country where the savings of the honest hard working human beings are invested by interests and capitalists at low interest rates and the inflation rises so much the money a person has invested in the banks as a fixed deposit or whatever you call it unfortunately goes into those pockets who never return this money to the banks because their identities are not known so therefore we require a change in system of banking where you cannot nobody you should permit a industrialist or capitalist to invest any amount of money he wants but then he must raise his money from his own pocket and contacts not borrow the money from the banks that's a very bad thing more so i would like to say is that in our country we don't have common people on money because the people who work very hard who earns millions and millions and crores and crores and crores of rupees they are so heavily taxed so the money flights goes out 
and again we are left with very little money and the money is replaced by printing more money and the counterfeit money is the demand and supply business so what i mean to say if you make india when you tax the people for goods and services goods and services you buy a car you tax that fellow but you cannot tax the money earned by hard work how can you do that i know many of the capitalist friends and the past of course i don't know they were so miserable and so tense with so many diseases those youngsters and they are so heavily taxed they used to work right from morning in the morning at 6 o'clock in the morning till midnight and whatever money they earn and the people take away in very heavy taxes 30% 40 and something like that so therefore what i mean to say is you should not tax the sweat and blood of any person it will never raise a sense we are learning everything our economy is totally oriented towards western economy and they have forced imf and world bank that you fix up your economy such a way you tax very heavily for social uh, benefits but there are no social benefits in our country unlike in western world so what i mean to say ladies and gentlemen that india is not a country which is suitable for income tax not at all because if you impose income tax on the people this becomes a black money which goes out and we cry our money has gone out people have black money naturally it will when you tax a fellow is you take out his skin and the blood how can he keep the money inside but if he you don't tax a person the money will not go out and the capitalist or any person is not going to eat his money he is not going to eat money he is going to invest it will give employment to so many people please for god's sake do not impose income tax in india because if you in impose income tax you are wagging your tail to western economies and our money will flight will go away to switzerland in several trillions and trillions of rupees and that money goes to united states for investment and they laugh at us we are full of the highest order that we work very hard our peasants are dying committing suicide and whatever little they earn that money their effort and labor is stolen by foreign banks i am of things like that they are making fool of us i am and world bank are making fool of third world countries they don't work these people in western countries do not work much five days a week and that also on hourly basis and who works we people are working toiling our people are dying please for god sake if you are if you are really the godly people if you really want your country to survive abolish income tax totally this country will be flush with money and money hell with world bank and money international monetary fund they are cheating us they are cheats they have ruined the entire world for their own benefit no western country is a poor country why without working also they are very rich he makes a shirt and he sells us for 1000 dollars and you make hundreds of shirts it may not fetch you more than uh you know 10000 or 14000 rupees what's the reason is there no value of our hard work honest blood and sweat which are farmer peasant workers and businessmen and uh, um the employees are toiling for our economy is totally linked to the dollar which is stupid thing dollar is nothing at a scrap piece of paper is artificially inflated why should not be at par with our rupee because value of our rupee is much better because of its hard work associated with it but then there is a problem with this technology which is very costly you buy a technology from western world we have to sell ourselves the one latest technology say and a modern aircraft will cost you anything but all 4000 crores or 2000 3000 crore rupees that's the problem and our money goes into that is sunk into that is sunk into that so for god sake we require immediate economic reform just kind of a taxation this kind of a financial management where you are imposing very heavy income taxes ruining this country and it will result in ultimately impoverish impoverishment of a country like what has happened to the latin american countries they have become beggars the state like venezuela which is one of the oil rich countries in the world is nothing people have turned to the beggars they are running out from that country despite the fact that it's richly richly you know oh uh, wow uh, what i mean to say is uh, um, uh, blessed with its natural resources and then of course oil exploration there's no dearth of oil in india if you really explore it but then there are the vested interests who do not permit it because 
what because the dictates come from other countries don't explore gas don't explore oil because otherwise their business will come to a stand still anyway and even there these people are not permitting you know alternate sources of fuel alternate source of energy to come up just because the moment you do it those people who are terrorizing the world with their economies will become paupers overnight and next testing to 15 years take it from me now if the alternate sources of energy come up in this world they will have bagging bowls in their hands like they used to have it before say i have over 100 years back now this is one of the buildings which is coming up by a famous capitalist of india money comes from the banks of course i hope and uh, god only knows that whether he's going to return this money or not but the fact is the money comes from the depositors so therefore nobody on earth in india should be entitled empowered or qualified to get a loan of the frank unless the depositors give its consent to it unless the depositors give their consent to it how come i deposit my money in the bank and somebody else is benefited when it's uh, doled out to a person and he, you even do not know his identity whether he's going to return it not who is responsible for this is not governance action the one phone call on top of the governing body i don't want to name that bank it doesn't matter and what i mean to say is that a phone call comes that's what the people tell that the bank manager had to dish out the loans for those guys whose name is recommended and at times the papers and documents being managed by the bank officials themselves what happened to this guy was run away from here stealing 1 billion dollars worth of money from our banks this is exactly ha- happened he fabricated a letter of understanding with the blessings of the most highest authorities in the country at that time on the ground that this kind of money which is borrowing will it fuel for investment and exports and things like that absolutely wrong and he managed to and there are so many 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 people of them uh, persons like him somebody is owning 47000 crore rupees where the money has come from from the banks and whose money is this this money belongs to the ordinary people now tell me how can a person a single person get a loan worth 47000 crore rupees from the banks which belong to the people of india have you gone crazy and mad who who is going to ask this who is responsible for this who is who is accountable who is answerable to this so we have to devise a mechanism you see it doesn't happen in a country like china the chairs are ready for them and somebody behaves like this so ladies and gentlemen arise and we must have a law where the deposits money from the banks may not be permitted to be used by fellows without acceptance consent and uh, knowledge of the depositors in the banks we wish our country all the best there are so many high rise buildings people have so much of god known in north where the money has come and there are no occupants in these tall buildings uh, it's quite strange anyway the economy is totally uh on indian economy it is totally being run on the guidance of the foreign uh, masters and their agents as bureaucrats in the ministry of you know so many various ministry you know it's uh, i do not like to name them and this kind of investment is a, that kind of investment which doesn't produce uh, goods and services goods and services is that if you enrich your farmer as agriculture produces converted into by products and he himself gets enriched you go outside the cities and see the conditions of the villages how they are living they are living in stone age and primitive life their lives have not changed at all in some of the places you go to those tribal villages in uh, central india and see the their plight so anyway it is also a contrasting contrast of things that uh, who makes these buildings and uh, those people who make these buildings and where do they stay you can yourself see where they stay um just the only thing i'll say is the god should do something about it because our people are leaders bureaucrats and everybody is a fool god which we trust and i'm sure the god in his wisdom exists somewhere and so do his uh, angels or devi devtas or real gods and uh, things should change with his mercy